Okay, today I'm going to show you what is involved in acid dating a nickel. So what I've done there is I've taken a single drop of this stuff called Nicodate, which it's made by other names, but it's ferric chloride. Uh, basically, it is something that will dissolve nickel. Um, I put it where the date is, and hopefully in about a minute, the date on this buffalo nickel, which I previously could not make out at all, um, will be able to be seen. So th the science behind this is when they struck the buffalo nickel, the metal around the, the metal that comprises the date is harder than the surrounding met metal. So when you put the nickel date on there, it eats away at the metal on the sides of the date quicker than it does the metal of the date. Um, this this whole process only takes about a minute. Um, and what you want to do is you want to be, be looking at the coin while the, the nickel date is on there and as, as soon as the date uh, starts to appear you, you wipe the nickel date off. Now I can already see the uh, the first two digits coming through but of course that doesn't really help us on a buffalo nickel because they were all made in the 1900s. I need those last two digits. Sometimes if you get the Nicodate on and it's a little bit too thick, you won't be able to see through it. Um, and that's okay. Just, you know, just wait about 30 seconds and wipe it off. And if you still can't see the date, then, uh, you know, give it another drop. And wait another 30 seconds. Okay, but this should have been on there long enough. Just depends on how bad it is. Um, so that I might be able to make out these. Yeah, I can see some some digits from here. Let's see. Let me see what I can see and then I will show it to you. Um, uh, yep, yep. Let's see. This is a... This is definitely a 1927. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can get the magnifying glass so that the camera can... Let's see, there you go. That's about as in focus as I can get it. Um, but yeah, if you, if you were looking closer, it was. That's, that's definitely a. If you're able to look closer at it, you could definitely tell that's a 1927. And this is a date that before I. I mean, I could not read it all. It was. It was completely um, covered over. So that's that's the process of acid dating a nickel. There's really not much to it. Um, the nickel date comes in. A container my container says it's one and a quarter fluid ounces so far I have done about 30 nickels and I'm not even you know a tenth of the way through the uh, through the bottle so um, it's you know it's it's very inexpensive it's definitely worth it if you have a bunch of buffalo nickels without dates lying around thanks for watching